What we're trying to create is all of these objects that signify a relationship that is outside of our understanding or that we're trying desperately to understand. Florida is a land of starry skies and sunsets and boiling springs, of creatures that flit and flutter into the night. I want to capture some of that Florida magic in these patterns. I think the bait shop is one of the more peculiar introductions to an art space that anyone will ever experience. My great-grandmother didn't make it. Someone had sold her a counterfeit ticket in Romania and she went to get on the boat and they said no. His sister, Amelia, had to go to Cuba. They thought that would be a really great way to get into Florida because it was so close. So we came to Cuba thinking that it's so close to the United States. We are going to get in the United States in a month or two or three or four. It took 18 years. We're currently standing outside a Grand Meadow neighborhood park. We are in southeast Austin, way southeast. It's a park that is owned by the city of Austin. It's 9.9 .9 acres. We wanted some place that was walkable, and we have all of this amazing land. It's 9.9 .9 acres, so let's transform it. How many Cuban sandwiches do you make every day? 100. 200. 200. <laughs> yeah, 200. I love working at the Columbia, and I'm surrounded by really great people. I have been at the Columbia for a little over a year now. Been here 23 years. So it was the first job that I got when I came to St. Augustine, and I've been here ever since. I've been working here at the Columbia for six years now. I've been working at the Columbia restaurant for 20 years. E-A-G-G-R-E-S-S-I-V. <laughs> when I first met Deanna, I was seven years old. My mom told me like a day before I met Deanna that I was getting a big sister, my first instance was, um, did she have a daughter before me? <laughs> so I'm happy that we met each other. As soon as I saw the perfection of his ability to do it, I wanted to do that. I knew that in a heartbeat. I didn't know how that would unfold in my life or what part he would play, but I wanted to do drag. What it means is you know who you are, you know what you want, you know your values, and you're willing to rock them in any situation. However, if your friend, your sorority sister, your fraternity brother, your teammate, your dorm mate, whatever the case may be, makes different choices, you can still be there for them. And that is a truly sexually empowered member of this community. In 2003, Kelly Addington and Becca Teeter began their cross-country journey. And since then, their message of sexual assault awareness, prevention, and sexual empowerment has reached over half a million college students. I'm going to be creating my idealized motel room. There's this happy side of like the beachside motel or resort where you could escape, have fun with the family. But then there's also this other side to the motel as some of them shifted from that first purpose. All those things that kind of filter down to our state, that dark undercurrent and I'm trying to have the shipping container motel room embody both of those elements. I am making a row of commercial dryers like you would see in a roadside open air laundromat. They'll be spinning uh, big 20 inch chrome rims perpetually inside of them. It's all art, so it's good.